Hiker Jay here. This week we're going to be talking about pillows. They're so important to getting a good night's sleep out in the backcountry, but there's so many different ones. And I have found that some work better than others depending on the type of sleeping system you're using. Are you sleeping in a hammock? Are you sleeping in a tent? Are you using a mummy bag? So stick with me. I'm going to break each one down and help you figure out which one will work best for your sleeping system. All right, first off, let's talk about the three types of pillows that I'm gonna talk about. Your, your standard kind of small camp pillow, it's been around for years, it's filled with a synthetic and it's cotton and you can fold it this way and sleep on it or put a sweatshirt underneath it. You've got your kidney shaped uh, pillow here that uh, blows up and you can fold up into something as small as this right here. And then you've got your X style from Climate, um, which again also folds up into something small. It's a blow up type. Now. What's the difference between all of these? Uh, beyond weight, when it comes to a blow up, you're looking at about three ounces or less on a blow up. When you're looking at uh, an actual fabric style this way, you're looking at about six ounces. So you're doubling your weight with this type. Some people just like the cozy pillow and that's perfectly fine. Um, but so many people are going to these blow up style pillows. And when, it, when you go to them, it's important that you know the difference between them. So I'm gonna start with the actual kidney shaped one. I love this kidney shape style. Uh, it's become very popular. Uh, this one's Exped. There's um, Sea to Summit you makes them. This uh, Trekology is also one that makes them. Um, they can be very expensive, but they can also be very affordable. If you check out my link below to the Trekology one, very affordable to get. And for three ounces, it's worth carrying. Now, why do I like this one so much? Number one, they come in multiple sizes. I always get the largest. And why it works so well is that it's it's got a lot of surface and this large spot right here. This is where your shoulder goes, your neck goes. So, my son's basketball. Your head goes here <clears throat> and your neck rests in here. And because your neck is like this, it holds the pillow so good and doesn't let it skate around and works really well for support. Um, this kidney shape style is excellent for that. If you like a large pillow, especially if you're a side sleeper, this is definitely the pillow for you. This pillow is great for the ground, not always the best for a hammock because what happens on a hammock, it gets smushed like this and then it just, you can try to take some air out and try to adjust it, um, but it's really kind of a pain. So if you're gonna do hammock, I would suggest something like a cotton style or, um, or a fabric style that is synthetic or one of these type of climate X types. These fit great into your pillow. You can put it this way or this way, but again, it's made to have your head rest in the middle and then your neck right here and your, you know, your shoulders go out this way. Um, and with that, um, this one is different because it has this kind of X here. Um, on the ground, I have found that it just it like slips out all the time when I try to use it. Cause I'm using it on something like a climate mat like this, that's also the same fabric. If they would take and put like some actual like um, rubber strips or something on here so it wouldn't slide, that would be really helpful. But as it stands right now, these tend to just kind of squirt out on you and you're always seeming to just pull it back, pull it back. And I've checked with a couple buddies that use these as well. Um, they have the exact same problem. But if you take and you put it into the, the hood of your mummy bag, it works perfect. So if you're this type of, if you use a mummy all the time, um, this works great. It will hold it in place and it works perfectly fine. But if you're the type that uses a quilt like I do, um, it's going to slide right out on you and be kind of a pain. So that's why I've really been drawn towards this kidney shape style because it just stays in its place and doesn't kind of slide out on me. But again, if you're a hammock sleeper, this is definitely good for you. Um, one thing with all of these, you can also get them in different sizes. Like this is a small climate, there's a larger one. This is the largest kidney, there's a smaller one. If you want, you can get a smaller one and then just take like your polar fleece or something and put it underneath it just to kind of put, prop it up. I'm a side sleeper, so I need something high. So like with this one, that's what I try to do. Again though, without it being held in or it being in a hammock, um, it tends to just kind of squirt out on me. So when it comes down to pillows, I feel like it's a real personal choice on how you actually sleep. If you're in a hammock, absolutely the Climate X style is great. If you are in a hammock or a bag or a mummy bag or anything, of course your thin synthetic style is perfectly fine. If you're on the ground, whether you're using a mummy or not, I think the kidney shape is probably the best you could go for. Especially if you're a side sleeper. If you're a side sleeper, you definitely want this kidney shaped type. Um, now they're 
all excellent choices. It really depends on you and they're pretty affordable. You know, when you think about it, the number one thing to getting a good night's night's sleep is your mat. Are you cold from the ground? Are you hurting? That type of thing. But the second thing is a good pillow. It is worth the investment to get yourself a pillow that will work in the wilderness. When you look at it and it's only this big and they're so affordable under 20 bucks right here, this is the Trekology one, um, it's worth putting in your pack. I actually keep this and whenever I travel, I have it with me. This one's great for like plane or um, in the car, that type of travel. So as you can see, there's a lot more to picking a pillow than just finding one that looks cool or that's comfy. You need to find one that will work with your sleep system. And hopefully you found some tips that will help you do that in this video. If you did, go ahead and hit like and subscribe if you would, that would be awesome. Till next time, just remember, life's a hike, so hike happy. Take care.